Hey what's up guys, this is Henry. Now would you like to know the fighter that has been added to my list of all time favorite fighters? Yeah? This guy. That guy right there. Carlos Condit. Carlos Condit has been added to my list of all time favorite fighters. Why is that? Well, I don't know if you watched the fight yesterday, but um, if you watched the fight yesterday then you know why. Yesterday, Carlos Condit displayed exactly why he belongs at the top. How did the fight go? The fight started, Martin Kentman bull rushed Carlos Condit, took him down in the first round, was on top of him, and the second that happened, I remember just going, what the hell, man? Are you kidding me? Do you mean to tell me that you did not work on your wrestling, Carlos Condit? Like, for real? But then, as the fight progressed, I started to notice something. Carlos Condit was extremely calm. He wasn't just laying on his back. He was attacking with jujitsu. He kept throwing up submissions. And that made Martin Campman work. And as that was going on, I started to realize that the strategy for the fight was to get Martin Campman to overcommit and blow his energy out. As the fight went on in round two and round three, it was getting a lot difficult for Martin Catman to take Carlos Condit down. It even got to a point where he wasn't able to take him down at all. And that's when Carlos Condit had the fight. He took it to a man. And Carlos Condit is one of those guys that has the kind of striking that I like to call awkward. If he wants to throw a hook, a normal boxer or, or Muay Thai kickboxer will throw a hook like that, you know, it comes from the side. But Carlos Condit, when he throws a hook, it comes from the top. His kicks, his punches, they're either dropping or they're coming up. And that's how he's able to catch guys. That's exactly how he was able to catch George St. Pierre. Even almost finished the champion in that fight. He was able to use that striking style against Martin Campman, who's actually a Muay Thai champion. Carlos Condit was able to outstrike him fairly easily in the fight. As the fight progressed, when we got to the fourth round, Carlos Condit got him with a vicious body shot. Grabbed the Muay Thai, boom, 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 finished him off, and that was it. Another reason why I really like Carlos Condit is because he's one of those fighters that can bring the best out of you. It doesn't matter who Carlos Condit is fighting. It doesn't matter if he's fighting Kay Velasquez. This dude will bring the best out of any fighter that he fights against. He brought the best out of G GSP. He brought the best out of Roy McDonald. He made Roy McDonald fight. He brought the best out of uh, Johnny Hendricks. And I actually believe that if the fight was like five rounds, he would have beat Johnny Hendricks because he was slowing down. He was getting tired. Oh man, Carlos, he's really a natural born kill. He comes in there, he gets taken down, but this guy knows what he's doing. He's always working, he's never slowing down, and uh, it was an overall extremely impressive performance, and I extremely enjoyed the fight. I don't know who he's gonna fight next. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that he gets a rematch with uh, Rory McDonald. That would be good. A lot of people are criticizing Rory McDonald because of, you know, the jab, but I believe Carlos Condit would make that guy fight. And I'd like to see that. I'd also like to see him have a rematch with Johnny Hendricks, but make it a five round fight. Come on, make it a five round fight, okay? Let's have Johnny Hendricks fight in there, you know what I'm saying? Make it a five round fight and uh, let's see what Johnny Hendricks can do. Condit takes him to deep waters, let's see what he can do, you know? But um, yeah, overall it was a really impressive fight, really awesome card. Tell me what you guys thought about the card. Leave a like in the video, okay? Look guys, you know, like, it helps a lot, okay? It's a lot of motivation when you leave a comment, when you leave a like, and when you actually watch my video. But not everyone watches my video, and sometimes it's kind of discouraging. So, I mean, try to watch my videos, leave a like if you like the video. And um, until next time, be safe.